Today on Sanford's Wild Dakota, we head to Bitter Lake for the fourth annual Roberts County Rescue Squad Walleye Challenge. This fishing tournament is a fundraiser to help the rescue squad with equipment and tools to make sure they have what they need when the times demand. Join us today as we combine a great community with good people while fishing for a good cause. We just gotta find our over 20s. Just hold up there sir, you're gonna to wanna to hear this. Turned in a total of these six fish for the total weight of 50. We love this family celebration, which we have every year. Is that a tea for Dad? Got to experience it with my son. That's the most important thing. This big fish. This guy bit right at the boat. Adios. Let me go sit by him. Good luck to you guys. The big as me, baby. Down he went. All right. Here, Tank. Right here. Tank, here. The boy. I guess I got to be the lucky one. That is a nice walleye. Brown trout on a fly rod. Look at that. You can't do this at home on the couch. Sanford's Wild Dakota is presented by Gary's Gun Shop, where the shooter shop, Sioux Empire Safari Club International, River Rock Lodge, the finest in hunting and lodging, the South Dakota Elite Walleye Series, Vortex, the force of optics, Venom Outdoors, for the serious angler, Skins It, get the most out of your fish fillet, Big Frig, your way of life, Fillet Maker, keep it clean, Gary Allen Guide Service, ERC Call Company, Ringneck Retreat, Garrettson Sportsman Club, Bob's Custom Meats, Cartridge World, and these fine sponsors. Inspecting the boats here, uh, giving them their bags with their t-shirts in it, explaining to them about how we're going to leave in single file order, and just kind of getting things ready. You can look right here. Good morning guys, do you know your team number? Right here. Okay, we're going to leave in single file order by the tree. Uh, you can keep any size of fish you want. They took the minimum box, you can weigh anything under, weigh 14s, or whatever you want to do. If it storms, you can run to shore and go back out. Did they inspect your boat already? Okay, you got a ribbon. I'm Brett Hansen. Uh, we're sitting out here in the, the fireman's fishing tournament, and, and my job is to sit here and unhook the boats, make sure their plugs are in and light jackets are there, uh, get them out in the water as fast as we can. We got a lot of contestants coming. They don't have it registered. Kind of backed up here, but we'll get them rolling, and we got a little time here yet, so we're good to go. Team 29, we're from uh, the Britton Eden area, and today getting a couple overs is going to be very key out here. There's a lot of small fish and it's just going to be putting the right fish in the box at the right time, I guess. I love to fish and it's a great cause. One member from Pierce, South Dakota, one member from Webster, South Dakota. Father, son. We're going to go out and catch some uh, 15 and a half and you got to get one. It's going to be a big fish contest, what it's going to be. Everybody's going to catch the same kind of fish and you're going to need one good one. Station can, up here with a the tag. Can, they can fire They're going to go boat. put their boat in the state, but one of them will come and register. Okay, Brian's got to do the same with his boat, so we'll send the stuff with Brian down there. We're going to have to go out and catch some fish this morning. There are uh, a lot of small ones out there. I was out here a couple weeks ago fishing a tournament and uh, caught a lot of small fish. And uh, we just got to find our over 20s. It's going to take uh, staying on top of the fish. Logan Shoneman from Siston, South Dakota. I don't know, I think it's going to take luck and I don't know, we're going to pull spinners. Yeah. We're from Rossville, South Dakota. He's from Siston. We're just getting signed up, so. Well, we got about 42 teams that are signed up so far and we still got a couple more that are checking in. It's always fun to be with my dad and my brother and it's a good time to just get on the water. The one reason I'm fishing this tournament, I love to fish and I love a good cause. Just making sure everybody kind of understands the rules and if there's a storm coming, they can hit shore if they have to and otherwise it should be pretty good to go. Nice day out.
Sanford's Wild Dakota is brought to you by Gary Allen South Dakota Missouri River Fishing and Hunting Guide Service. The finest walleye, smallmouth bass, and pheasant hunting in the Midwest. Book your next adventure with our professional service and have a trip of a lifetime. One sprain, one injury, one break can bring your entire world tumbling down. Don't put your life on hold. Get expert care when you need it with Sanford Orthopedic Fast Track. Convenient walk-in care available seven days a week to get you back on track faster. Call 605-328-2663 or visit SanfordFastTrack.org to find a location near you. At Cartridge World, we're so confident in our product that we back up every cartridge with 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Why spend big money on new printer cartridges when you can save up to 50% by using refilled or remanufactured cartridges from Cartridge World? Plus, we offer free pickup and delivery to most businesses. We're environmentally friendly, too, so you'll save money and help save the planet. Affordable, green, and guaranteed. Cartridge World. The all-new Bob's Custom Meats is located one block east of the convenience store on 241st Street, Chester, South Dakota. We will process your wild game, domestic, fish, or poultry into the best flavored meat available. From start to processed end, we cut, wrap, steaks, chops, and roasts. You can choose from our long list of processed meats, such as sticks, brats, jerky, sausage, and smoked meats. Bob's Custom Meats new location, one block east of the convenience store on 241st Street, Chester, South Dakota. The skins of fish skinner is absolutely incredible. Have you ever tried filleting a fish with results like this? Then you have to have a skins it. You'll never have to fillet fish the old fashioned way again. See how easily it takes the rib bones out. Watch as the skins it peels back the skin and scales away from the meat without waste and fast too. Check out the skins at fish skinner at fishskinner.com. May your tag of a lifetime finally come through. May the snow pile up and the elk come down. May your socks always stay dry. May the herd bull finally break from the herd. And may your aim always stay true. Welcome to the next level. Welcome to the Vortex. Sanford's Wild Dakota is presented by The Graphics Shop, Scott Bolte Sanitation, Trans Freight and Logistics, Chaps Buck Outdoors, Keeping Kids in Outdoor Sports, The Outdoor Adventure Foundation, and Outdoors Weekly. First flight takes off at 7.30. They need to be back in at 3.30. The second flight is going to take off at 8 o'clock, and they'll be back in at 4 o'clock today. So. Hopefully all the anglers uh, can have good luck. There's a lot of fish in the lake right now. A lot of 14 to 17 inch fish. There's always some over 20 being caught, so uh, should have a good way in. Hopefully there'll be a lot of fish. Today we're out here raising money for the Roberts County Rescue Squad. It's our fourth year hosting this tournament here on Bitter Lake. Roberts County Rescue Squad is the only rescue squad in the entire county. So they get called out and help out in any rescue situations, car accidents, bad fires, anything where you need assistance through a rescue. It looks like we're gonna have nice weather today. I think we have 44 teams participating today. All right, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go drop a few lines in, check on the anglers, and hopefully catch a few fish of our own. This, this tournament is important to the rescue squad. It's a nice fundraiser for them. It's a nice get together. Everybody has a good time. Uh, and it, because of the sponsors, they're able to make some nice amount of money on it.
one of the beautiful things about a setup like this is we're raising money for a community who benefits all of us, everybody. Anybody that ever needs a rescue, medical, stuff like that, that's where this money's going. And we're finding some really quality fish on this, on this body of water here. I mean, you don't get much better than that. You know, 15 and a half, 16 inch walleye, healthy, full of color. Bitter Lake is 15,000 acres. It's about 24 feet deep in its deepest point. There's a lot of different structure. There's a lot of weed beds, a lot of rocky points, sand points, sandbars, flooded barns, flooded trees, flooded fences, flooded cars. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different techniques used. You're going to see guys pulling plugs deep. You're going to see guys casting, pulling spinners. You can catch fish anyway. That's what's fun about it. You can pretty much go out there and do anything you want and catch fish. With the inspection boat, we have a lot of lake to cover. But what we do is we just go around and everybody that's fishing the tournament has a ribbon pad in the front of their boat. So you can tell who is fishing the tournament and who is not. Ryan, I don't know the, all the team, but I know it's Ryan Hurlbutton and his team from uh, Browns Valley, Minnesota. We'd like to quick take a moment and thank the Roberts County Rescue Squad Fishing Tournament sponsors, H&R One Stop, Tri-State Building Center, Purple Cow and Jorgensen Meats Processing, Napa, First Call Auto Parts, General Equipment and Supplies, Dakota Magic Casino and Hotel, Dano's Marine Sales and Service, Venture Communications, Behavioral Healthcare Specialist, Renus Electric, Farmers Union Insurance, Chris Pallison Construction, Thielen Auto Body, Neil Larson, Nick Currents Construction, Dakota Line Lodge, Dakota Pawn Shop, Wild Dakota Outdoor Television, Dakota Bank, CR Concrete, Sisseton Livestock, Twin Valley Tire, Sisseton Dental Clinic, Dakota Resurfacing, Better Lake Lodge, Stilson Service, JB Auto Sales, Custom Design Plumbing, Deutsch Construction, Woodland Cabinetry, and Joey Fritz Seeds. All right. Who are you? Where are you from? We're from Woonsocket and Pier. We went out pulling some boats this morning just kind of see how people were doing. A lot of small fish. It's been a really tough day for a lot of them. Um, no, we didn't see any overs at all. We're hoping it picks up for them this afternoon, but we'll kind of see the wind kind of died down here and it's kind of went calm, so we'll see if it makes a difference for them. I'm Adam Renes with the Roberts County Rescue Squad. You're watching Wild Dakota, and we'll be right back. I'm dreaming of a place that puts a smile on my face That takes me far away But still it's near A place where people need to laugh and play and eat Leave the everyday behind You're making memories for all time I just found the magic it's all right here, Dakota Magic Casino. Bring magic into your life. Bring magic, bring magic, bring magic, bring magic into your life. Tri-State Billing Center is your one-stop lumber and hardware store. We use a compelling format that raises the bar for the retail experience. We focus on local expert advice and superior customer service. We sell merchandise geared for today's do-it-yourself enthusiasts. We are active and involved in the communities we serve. Tri-State Building Center, we will handle all your construction needs with great prices and friendly faces. Located at 1520 South Dakota Highway 10, Sisseton, South Dakota. Have you ever seen a purple cow? Neither have we until visiting Wabe, South Dakota. The Purple Cow Ice Cream Shop in Jorgensen's Meats is located on the north side of Highway 12 and Main Street. The Purple Cow Ice Cream Shop has over 60 different combinations of flavors to be served as a malt, shake, parfait, sundae, arctic swirl, or cone to satisfy your craving. Don't forget about Jorgensen's Meats with the freshest of beef, pork, and chicken available in all your favorite cuts of steaks, jerky, sticks, or brats. Purple Cow and Jorgensen's Meats satisfy your craving in one stop.
Auto is more than your local Napa Auto Store. First Call Auto is locally owned and operated in the Sisseton community. They carry all your major automotive, agricultural, heavy-duty truck parts to fluids, paint, tools, and more. Supporting and taking an active role within their own community is extremely important in their hometown values, which reflects when you walk through the door. Open seven days a week for your convenience to keep it running longer and stronger with Napa know-how. Located 124 East Hickory Street, Sisseton, South Dakota. Daniels Marine, with stores in Pier and Watertown, is one of South Dakota's premier boat dealers. They have experienced knowledgeable sales and service for all their new and used watercraft. With over 40 years of combined service, their technicians are trained or certified to be sure when you're ready, your boat is ready too. They feature Stratus, Alumacraft, and Ranger boats that can be customized with Mercury, Yamaha, or Johnson Evinrude motors. See what is new for this season and let Daniels Marine put you on the water. Today we're on Bitter Lake for the Roberts County Rescue Squad Walleye Challenge. This body of water is known for a few things, structure, habitat, underwater hazards, and holds lots of fish. Bitter Lake is a natural body of water located south of Wa Bay in Northeast South Dakota. Prior to the 1990s, Bitter Lake was a 3,000 acre alkaline slough with an approximate depth of three feet. High water conditions since the mid to late 90s have increased the water depth and surface area of Bitter Lake currently covers in excess of 15,000 acres and is managed as a walleye and yellow perch fishery. Bitter Lake getting its name from the high alkaline content making the water taste bitter. So you may not want to drink the lake water, but it does offer countless opportunities for public recreation. The communities of Sisseton and Wabe invite you to come and take advantage of this quality fishery. I knew we only had the one, I'm like, next five fish, and that's what the next five were. But that was back up in there, and that still took an hour and a half to get them. Today the bite is hot with virtually all presentations of pitching, pulling and dragging live bait seeming to work. Literally over a thousand walleye will be boated throughout the day. The struggle is finding the right combination of slot fish and the overs to compete with the other teams. Everybody's got lots and lots of fish, just no big ones. Do that. Guy up. He told us nothing. He didn't have Nick? one? He just sent me a picture of something. Oh, so it was from before. It have been from two years ago. <laughs> it didn't look like they were catching much either when we were over there. Did you go to Canada this summer? What I find extremely enticing about the walleye challenge is the relaxed atmosphere. You can take this as serious or as leisurely as you want and still keep that competitive edge. At the same time, friendly competition always adds that bit of excitement and when you combine that with fishing, everyone wins. So we'd like to thank our sponsors, our participants, and anybody else who helped make this a success in one way, shape, or form. Our next event is June 17th of this year. Get a hold of us, we'd love to get you guys signed up. First flight weighs in at 3.30 and uh, second flight's 4 o'clock. You pretty much will stay on the water the entire day unless a bad storm comes or if you have your fish tagged out. Um, typically we'll see boats start to come back maybe at 2 o'clock and uh, they'll come up and we'll measure their fish, cut their tags and weigh them up and uh, Set them down the line. With the conditions changing by the hour, so does the strategies. For the most part, everyone is catching fish. 
and having a great experience at this event. With every event, it takes sponsors to make things happen. We would like to recognize him once more to say thank you. We'd like to we quick take a moment and thank the Roberts County Rescue Eight Squad Fishing Tournament sponsors, H&R One Stop, Tri-State Building Center, Purple Cow and Jorgensen Meats Processing, Napa, First Call Auto Parts, General Equipment and Supplies, Dakota Magic Casino and Hotel, Dano's Marine Sales and Service, Venture Communications, Behavioral Healthcare Specialist, Renus Electric, Farmers Union Insurance, Chris Pallison Construction, Thielen Auto Body, Neil Larson, Nick Currents Construction, Dakota Line Lodge, Dakota Pawn Shop, Wild Dakota Outdoor Television, Dakota Bank, CR Concrete, Sisseton Livestock, Twin Valley Tire, Sisseton Dental Clinic, Dakota Resurfacing, Better Lake Lodge, Stilson Service, JB Auto Sales, Custom Design Plumbing, Deutsch Construction, Woodland Cabinetry, and Joey Fritz Seeds. The day is winding down and the time is running out. When we come back from this short break, we'll be headed up top where all the boats come to check in. Being part of a great team means you know your role and you work your role to the best of your ability. If you're consistently going to show up and be your best, you're going to be part of that team. You can see the success they have over time. It's not just one year uh, flash in the pan. It's consistent success over time, which makes them great. And that's where the work ethic comes in. The ability to come into work, do the same thing repeatedly, day after day after day, and putting your best foot forward is going to separate you from the rest. Choose the experts. Choose Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Venom floats are the only bobbers on the market that allow you to change your jig size without cutting the foam or modifying components. Change the buoyancy of the Venom float up or down by simply moving the foam. The Venom Float is the most sensitive bobber available, allowing you to set the bobber at the exact buoyancy you want with versatility matched by no other bobber. Venom Floats will quickly become the go-to floats in your tackle box. Try a Venom Adjustable Float today. It's truly amazing. At SEI, Sumer Fire Chapter, our mission is to protect hunters' rights and to promote wildlife conservation. We believe strongly in our youth and are committed to the education of our youth by promoting respect, responsibility, and discipline to manage wildlife and wildlife habitat. At the SEI, Sumer Fire Chapter, our goal is to develop safe, responsible youth hunters who are aware of their hunting heritage and understanding the hunter's role and responsibility with wildlife and the land. Join the local SEI chapter today and ensure your hunting heritage. Not everyone has room for a cleaning station, and traditional cutting boards leave a mess. Of course, we've all heard the phrase, Not in my kitchen! Until now. Filet makers solve this challenge with two different sizes. This multi-purpose tool is designed to keep your mess contained. Raised cutting surfaces allow for hand movement. Multiple troughs to separate and collect all the waste. Doubles as a serving tray and easy cleanup. Bring your own personal cleaning station everywhere you go with the all-new Filet Maker. The Garrison Sportsman's Club is a complete modern facility located off I-90 exit 410, then 5 miles north. We offer a variety of opportunities for the sportsman. Trap leagues are available throughout the year. An indoor pistol range and the area's largest up-to-date rifle range, 50, 100, 200 yard ranges, allow for you to sight in your rifle to actual distances. The range is secure for your convenience and protection. This fall, have the confidence your firearm is accurate. The rest is up to you. Garrison Sportsman's Club, where good friends meet. Gary's Gun Shop in Sioux Falls and Winter, where the shooter shops. Home to an impressive selection of over 3,500 new and used guns, plus ammo, scopes, an indoor range, and all the accessories. Shop Gary's in Winter for your shooting needs, along with fishing rods, tackle, live bait, western saddles, and accessories. We're family owned and operated with many years of experience to assist you. Gary's Gun Shop, where the shooter shops. 905 West 41st Street, Sioux Falls, and Gary's 2 on Main Street in Winter. Uh, we're out here today again with the uh, Roberts County Rescue Squad fundraiser. This is the 2016 Walleye Tournament. Having a good turnout today. I think we've got 42, 43 teams. Uh, we'll find out at the end of We've got uh, definitely a good fundraiser for us. We could always use some new equipment, SCBAs. We've got a lot of hand tools we use out on the job site. Um, always could upgrade. So that's kind of what this fundraiser is all about. We've got a lot of guys that leave their jobs, come out here to support this, and uh, just a total volunteer type of an operation. So real proud to have all the guys on. We work with a great group of guys and uh, look forward to doing this again next year. So, um, And again, with all these guys out on the water coming out to support us, definitely appreciate them too. So, Team number five coming in here today with six walleyes and one big northern. On their northern weight, we got 5.91, 5.91 pounds on their northern. 
Total weight today, total weight is 12.56 on the walleye. And all the way from Rapid City today too, guys. We want to point that out. He's here fishing in our tournament. We sure appreciate that. This is team number 22 with a total of six walleyes. Their total weight was 8.62 pounds. 8.62 pounds. Thanks again, guys, for coming. Team number three, we've got total number of fish, six walleyes with a total weight of 9.42 pounds. All right, we got team number 14 with six walleyes with a total weight of 8.72, 8.72. All right, team number 17 got six of these good walleyes with a total weight, listen here, 13.05, you guys, 13.05. Team number 15, they turned in six walleyes with a total weight of 8.02 pounds. A total weight of 8.02 pounds. For team number 30, we got a total of six fish turned in with a weight of 9.18 pounds. Team 27 is coming in with six walleyes at a total weight of 8.71 pounds. For team 29, we got a total of six walleyes coming in at 13.02. Let's, let's look at your clinker. 106 fish they caught. Let's move up to this next boat here. Team 26 with a total of 8.14 pounds. Again, here's your slip there, sir. Thanks Thank again, you. guys. Hold it right up there, Kaylee. All right, how about a round of applause for that lady right there caught the biggest fish the way it looks so far, but we'll, we are not gonna get ahead of ourselves. First time ever fishing, and who caught that humongous walleye you just pulled out? I did. With uh, the total weight on the walleyes being 12.08 pounds, so a good way up on the walleyes with their big fish being a walleye at 6.07. All right, team number 16, six walleyes turned in with a total weight of 8.42 pounds. Team number 18 turned in six walleyes with a total weight of 8.90 pounds. Team number 35 turned in six of these good fish with a total weight of 10 point zero seven pounds. Team number 45 with the six fish with a total weight of 6.07 pounds. That's holy Martha, look at that guys. We got a competitor for the Big Northern. Hey, let's take a good look for team number 34. A total weight on their walleye was 7.30 pounds and their big fish was a Northern at 7.28. All right, team number 33 was our last win. Just hold up there, sir. You're going to want to hear this. Turned in a total of these six fish with a total weight of 15.39. That's unofficially the first place. Unofficially. I'm not the scorer. I'm not writing it down, but that looks pretty good. Thank you guys for coming out. Every youth, 16 and under, gets a separate bag of fishing lures donated by the Andy ID Memorial. This year's event is June 17th. We'd love to see you guys come out here. If you're interested in coming, get a hold of one of us. We're making sure we can get you in. We'll get you an application. If it's a last minute, we can uh, let us know. We'll put your name down and you can pay at the door. We're here to finish up the fourth annual Roberts County Rescue Squad Fishing Tournament. But like every week, we run out of time. So fish hard, fish safe, have a successful season. We'll see you next time right here on Wild Dakota, where we're born free. We live wild, and we're proud to be American! Thank you everybody for coming out. Thanks for the sponsorships. Uh, we'd love to come out here and do this all over again next year. Wild Dakota is a limited liability corporation designed for educational and entertainment purposes, targeting the most loyal audience in the world, the outdoors, men, women, and children dedicated to preserving this way of life. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available. Put your message in front of the people who are the backbone of this country. Contact Wild Dakota Productions for more information.